This was a test of mine to see if original instant messengers that work in Windows 98 still work with their original instant messenger services now in 2012. So let's find out. The three that I'm going to use are Yahoo Messenger 8, yeah I think it's 8, MSN Messenger 7, and AOL Instant Messenger, I don't remember what version, but we'll start with that one first. So. AIM, Yahoo, and MSN. So let's go. Starting with AOL. Version, okay, here it is. 5.9.3857. All of these, by the way, are available if you just search for them uh, for your Windows 98 system if you happen to have one, whether virtually or physically. You can get them from oldversion.com or oldapps.com. They are there if you want to get these. Because whenever I do one of these, people always ask, where do I get the software? Well, that's where you get it. It connects just fine. Uh, when you do launch it, it does, of course, try to launch the browser. Actually, it does launch the browser and tries to uh, throw an advertisement at you, so I immediately close that. This was at a time when AOL was really spammy. And I mean super spammy. As a matter of fact, all the instant messengers were back in this time period because uh, that's just the way they were. You can see a big ad, which doesn't work anymore in this. And uh, you can shade this or put this down, whatever it is. And I did test this and it does work. Okay, so if you want to communicate on AOL Instant Messenger 5.9 even now you totally can. I do not show again and next one up we will do Yahoo Messenger I gotta check the version of this one 8.1.0.421 okay so it's 8.1 and sign in and it is successful and when I did a test of this one you still can send and receive messages to other Yahoo contacts which is cool and it does work as for adding to MSN contacts on the other hand that does not work because if I go to add a buddy here there is the option to add in a Windows Live account I could not get that to work, but Yahoo to Yahoo does work. And it's the ads are still shown in this. Bleh. But it's a nice, simple, clean client, and it works for the most part. Although I will say that if you dare to use Yahoo Messenger 8, I would use a throwaway account if I were you, because uh, this was at a time when there were a lot of exploits for the Yahoo Messenger client, which still work today, so you can easily uh, get your account stolen if you use Yahoo Messenger 8. So my recommend excuse me, recommendation is to use something, use, uh, excuse me, huh, can't talk today, use an account you don't mind losing for a Yahoo account. So we've got that one running. And last but not least, MSN Messenger 7. Back when it was still called MSN, uh, yeah, and back when it looked really weird. <laughs> this is so different compared to how it looks now. It takes forever for it to sign in, and then once it is signed in, should show a contact. There, okay, there's the contact. It's just a pig, and it brings up the stupid window I don't want to see. You can also configure it, uh, let me see if I can actually get that to work. Tools. Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry. It's this button right here. Kind of like Windows Live Essentials now. The, uh, Microsoft was doing this way back in the day. But let me bring back my context menus. Okay. This one I am able to connect to the service. And I was able to add friends into this. But I couldn't chat with them. And they couldn't chat with me. So as I did my little test contact there, it just didn't work. 
Now you might be fooled for the moment by thinking MSN had MySpace? No, 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 no. They just called it that for their own blog service, which was called MSN Spaces back then. It is not the MySpace.com website service. Very easy to mistake it as such. You can tell just by the icon. I mean, uh, MySpace.com never used that icon. This was before MySpace, because I don't know if it shows the date here. Okay, MySpace did exist at the time. Uh, this was copyright in 1997 to 2005, and yes, MySpace was around in 2005, but it was absolutely not integrated into any instant messengers at the time. But yes, there was such a thing as your space or my space inside the MSN Messenger. But anyway, I would not use this anyway because version 7 of this, as I said, you can't chat with anybody and nobody can chat with you. I don't even know if you could chat if both of you were using MSN Messenger 7. So anyway, to recap, AOL Instant Messenger does work. And yes, all that flashing you're seeing, that's just buggy. Yahoo Messenger works. Okay, so this one works, this one works, this one does not. Now, I did another video on this where I'd say just use Miranda instead, the free uh, multi-protocol client, and that will work for you. But as far as uh, if you want to just stay authentic, <laughs> so to speak, you could use Yahoo or AIM, and both of them still work with their respective services today. The surprising one of the bunch is actually Yahoo, because there was a point where this did not work. Because uh, I tried this about maybe, I don't know, a year ago, and it wouldn't connect to the Yahoo Messenger service, but now all of a sudden, magically, it works again. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, and by the way, I should say this about Yahoo as well. Your name up here, that cannot be configured from within the Messenger client. That actually has to be done at account.yahoo.com, and you have to log in, and you have to modify what your name shows that way it's weird. As for which one of these three is the best to use, that would definitely be AIM. Absolutely. It's simple, it's fast, uh, fortunately the ad does not work in it. You do have to deal with that crap when it first launches, that it launches a browser window, but that can be closed easily, so it's not a big deal really. It is also the lightest of the bunch. It is a little buggy, this is true, but the point is, is that it is the most stable of the three and the, the uh, least resource intensive. So that is that. You've got your MSN, you've got your Yahoo Instant Messenger, sometimes known as YIM, YIM, and your AOL Instant Messenger, AIM. So if you're rocking the retro PC and you want to know which ones work, well, you got two. And again, just in closing, this is AIM 5.9, and this is Yahoo Messenger 8.1.